The thing is that everybody loves asking this question. What is the funniest thing that's happened to you on stage? But the thing is that every experience is quite funny if you're an Indian independent musician singing English songs in India. Anyone who's a musician who's done a corporate show uh, has probably been requested a Hotel California or Summer 69. Which are the two songs which we don't play anymore. No disrespect to the Eagles or Brian Adams. I love both of them. Like, unironically, I love them. Hi, my name is Tejas. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an artist, I'm a singer-songwriter, but I'm here with the most important tool a musician needs, which is a nail cutter. So. Earlier on in my career, when I was just starting out, I had just moved to Bombay and it was just me and my acoustic guitar. Really had to fill every instrumental silence with more lyrics and more vocals. Even the songs I used to write, I used to try and be like very clever with the lyrics. But I realized that was not really what I was like chasing. I decided that I really wanted to write a little more abstract, a little more like meaningfully. I don't spoon feed the audience, or, or at least myself, and I wanted to be able to kind of dive into my lyrics. Because you write a song, you don't know what it's going to mean until a few years later or until things happen to you, life happens to you. So that's happened to me like plenty of times in my own career, in my own life. Lyrics can't tell the entirety of what you're feeling when you want to write music. You know, you have, there are some things definitely that music has to do what lyrics cannot do, and some things that lyrics have to do that music cannot. You can have broad swells of emotion through music, and you can have real specificity in what you're trying to say with lyrics, and you have to use both of them uh, appropriately. The desire to be known, the desire to be understood is, is something that I, I think is common, not with, just with artists, but it's, it's in everyone. I feel like I'm a generally quite an empathetic person and like I try to feel what people are going through, I really want them to feel what I'm going through. Dialogue is, a, is an interesting way to do that. Uh, it's almost like being a stand-up comedian or a storyteller, except the punchline is the song. Uh, you don't really have to let anything land except the music. I'm actually not very different from other people because in reality, I'm not. I'm just another dude who lives in Bombay, you know, writes and, and that's about it. I just happen to be on stage and you just happen to be listening to me. So if you are, thank you, but I might as well make it an interesting story for you. That's basically it. I mean, this is just the professional part of my life story. It's been an emotional ride, but maybe more on that later.